Hello there everybody and welcome to a new small series. In this series we are going to be looking at mapping in RPG Maker. We are going to be looking at three areas. Exterior, interior of houses and then dungeons. So we're going to start on the exterior and we're going to be creating a forest area. I'm going to be doing a small map but it's going to show you ways to make your maps more detailed. So for this we're going to be using the default assets and we're going to just be choosing outside. I'm going to be making this 40 by 40 and we're going to start by going out here. First of all I'm going to just fill the whole entire map with that and because we're going to be building a forest area we are going to draw some of the forest stuff using the forest A tile in the A set. So when I create maps I usually start by selecting where the beginning is from the first time you enter. So in this case I'm going to make it here. Now the exit I'm thinking will have up here. So you don't want to have a straight route going like that. We want to add some kind of curve so you have to travel. The first thing I'm going to be doing is drawing a outline area which we're going to edit after we're done. There, and do the same this side. Bring it round, let's have it go out like that. Let's send it up to there. Now just fill in both sides. Now we have the entrance here, exit here, and the outline done. Now what I like to do is work in sections. As you can see I've kind of got the grid settings here, the lines here. So instead I'm going to be setting this to 10 tiles by 10 tiles and we're going to work each section and improve each section. So like I said we start at the entrance. From the entrance let's add a little river. Let's have it coming out here, going this way, coming down here, and it's going to flow like this. So even though we're working on one section, it's better to draw like this. So now we're going to be placing a few decorative things. First of all let's create a path coming out from here. We don't want to do a straight path like this. We want to add in some breaks like so. Give it a more natural feel. And then we are going to be just drawing in some long grass like this. Try and keep the shapes a bit random. There's no need to worry about overlapping on like the path or anything. That works out. Now we are going to be placing a bridge over this area here. And we are going to be using this tile here. Now if you draw it like this, this is going to happen. Hold down shift and draw it so it doesn't so the auto tiles don't sort themselves out. Let's sort this path out and do that. Now we want to add some trees to this area. Now in a forest trees are kind of common so you kind of want to dot them about when you can. Like 
two trees, one tree work best. You can even cut off trees like this. You can also mix in these smaller trees and have the design work like that. Now, right now, this is all right, but there is stuff we can add. We're going to be utilizing these tiles here. First of all, we're going to place a few of these, just a small amount dotted around. This grass C, I like to place on the long grass and off the long grass as well, because it gives a nice feel to the design. And then we've got grass D, I tend to use only one of these. And you can see we've already added some uh, detail. Now I like to use these rocks just on the path, a bit out the way as well, as it gives it some definition. Now we want to be using these flowers. I'm going to place the odd flower here and there. If you have an empty area, fill it with a flower or something. And because this is a forest, we're also going to be utilizing these tiles here. If we, we place this flower here, a few mushrooms, you can even stack them on top of some tiles. You can do it like that. And there we go, we've got this area nice and detailed. Let's move up to this square here. Now, because of the way this is going, I want to place in a few ways to go. I'm just going to place a wall like this. I'm just going to draw like that, and we're going to take parts away. There we go. Now I'm going free high for this to give it a more forest feel. Going to go round. This is where we're going to edit some stuff. Bring it in. I'm going to do that. That's got a nice arc to it, and we can even work down here. Like you could have a treasure chest or sink over here, and that works out nicely. So because we've created this wall, we're just going to fill this bit up here. And we're going to continue just drawing these walls like this. We don't want to go too far, otherwise we're going to end up cutting ourselves off. Let's just do something like that. Now, we want to have a bit more of a path going either way. But we want the path to start cutting off at certain points, like we're just going to place one like that. And we're going to be using grass once more, just placing it randomly. Oops, be careful when doing that. And you can even utilize moss if you wish, give the grass ground a more. Darker effect. This works well if you're going to be using the mushroom tiles. So I'm going to have this bit over here be a bit darker. So let's add in these trees. Just got a few around. I want to keep certain areas open so you're able to walk through. And even place them like that. Let's get these trees as well. Just kind of dot them about a bit. Areas a bit. Empty, so now we're going to place in this grass, just place it randomly. Bit of that, place like that, and a few more bits like that. Let's add a tree stump and maybe a log over here, and got a nice little area here. And because we're using the kind of Dark tiles, let's add a few mushrooms. Like that. Gives it a nice feel. Now let's return to this area and we're going to do 
more trees here. Now we have this area down here. We want to kind of keep it nice and even do something like this. That works out. Just draw a bit like that. Let's add in the other trees. Just do something like this. Add in a few flowers here and there. That there. Do something like this. And we have a nice looking forest entrance so far. Now let's modify the water here because it looks a bit no idea what's going on. So just select the water tile, hold down shift. So select the water tile, hold down shift and just draw around the edge. Now you want to kind of get the tiles in a way that it looks somewhat natural. The best way to do this is just click on tiles here and there and now we have this look like it's flowing out of the map or underneath stuff. Let's move up here. This area here is a bit narrow. Let's widen it up into the next area. And you'll notice here we have this kind of long bit here which had this one gap. <coughs> Apologies. You'll want to either make the gap bigger so you can place these tiles or just completely close it. In this case, I'm going to completely close it. I'm going to actually bring this like that. So, this area here is very open. So, I'm going to just start working on a way to close this up while still keeping it very natural. Get rid of that. Bring that down like that. And just fill up the rest of the air. So once again this area here is a bit too straight. So let's just add some more decoration to the map. Bring that down. Let's finish the borders off. Do that. And let's bring this down to there. This area needs that. And now we can work on the decoration. So I'm going to start this end now as we are exiting. I'm going to be using the same tiles again. Bring it around a bit. Like that. And we're going to start cutting it off about there. Let's add in some grass. Oops. Yep, that actually works out. Let's add in some mossy ground. And because this is an exit, we're going to be utilizing another tile. First, let's add in these trees, a bit like this. And have it kind of blocking off the path, have them like that. Let's do that, just close off that. And do that, let's add in the other trees. Think like there. There, uh, there, uh, there, uh, a few like that. Chuck in a few rocks here and there. Add in some of the glass. Here and there. A few flowers. And like that. And let's put in few mushrooms, mossy tree stump and finally 
in this bit we want to add a sign kind of saying where this is heading place a sign anywhere you want this area seems to be nice and that works out well so now we've got this final area here we're just going to be utilizing the grass just randomly drawing now these kind of areas randomly drawing works out quite well stuff like this Let's add some definition to this grass add some shape something like this and that that works out nicely let's put in these trees this area is going to be more open than the rest of the map so don't want trees that are in the center area do a three there just something like that now let's do these trees and even do something like that it looks quite nice do that and we'll also do something like this okay now let's add in the grass just dot in a few bits around onto the grass here few smaller bits just leave that one add a few flowers in not too many that it looks cluttered Something like that let's add in this here few mushrooms here and there and that is looking quite nice now we can also add a few kind of decoration to the walls you can use these vines here or even the roots like this i prefer using these kind of branches slash roots as they give a nice extra bit of definition to the map and we can also fix up this water let's add a bit of lily pads at this grass well not much of it because it does look quite bad when it's near the edge just a small dab here and there and this bit seems a bit empty let's put in a tree here and there let's also utilize these rocks here just place a few in areas that do with a bit of sprucing up that's actually a bit too many and we'll put one here and even place one in the middle here so that's our map done it's a nice simple way to create more natural looking forests instead of having these square shapes that are common when you're beginning out so i hope this video has been helpful hopefully you've found it helpful if you have be sure to click the like button and subscribe uh, to see the next two episodes when I release them. Until then, goodbye.